and Bray Girl and for today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to do four side braids. By the end of this video you guys are going to know how to do all four of these braids, how hard or how simple it may be. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel to see more weekly tutorials and let's go into the braids. The first braid that I'm going to be showing you guys is the three strand braid. Most of you probably already know how to do this, but if you don't, that's totally okay. You're gonna start this hairstyle by taking all of your hair to the side of your head. I prefer to take all of my hair to the side where most of my hair falls. Once you bring it to the side of your head, you're gonna wanna split it into three sections. Once you have these sections, you're gonna take the edge piece, cross it under the middle piece, and then take this piece and cross it under. So we just did a braid stitch. The reason that I'm crossing under instead of over, I prefer to cross under because it doesn't leave a weird bump in the back of your head, but that's totally your preference. And then take this piece again, cross it under. You're gonna wanna keep it tight against your head so it doesn't unravel. Take this piece, cross it under. So it's basically a pattern, under, 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 under. So just keep repeating these steps back and forth. Once you're down all the way to the end, I like to go back and fluff and really tug on these sections. The way you tug on it is you wanna take the edge piece and pull it out. You don't want to just grab the whole section, you just want to take the edge piece and fluff it. Do you see the difference how this is fluffed and this is flat? What I also like to do is pull some pieces near my face and then you're going to want to tie it off with a clear elastic or just a normal hair tie. ahead and loosen up the hair up here and you are done with the three strand braid. The next braid that I'm going to show you guys is the rope braid or some of you may call it the twisted braid. So you're going to start this hairstyle by taking all of your hair to the side of your head and split it into two equal sections. And this is what you don't want to be doing when doing this braid. You don't want to just twist it because eventually when you get to the end, it's just going to all unravel and fall. So what you do want to do is you want to take them, twist this piece to the right, twist this piece to the right, and cross it over the left. Twist it to the right, cross it over the left twist it to the right, cross over the left. You can do it the opposite direction, doesn't matter, but I prefer to do it this way. Twist to the right, cross over to the left. Once you're down to the end, go ahead and tie it off with a clear elastic. And you can kind of see how it's kind of slicked against your head. Just kind of gently tug on it. And you can go ahead and pull this out a little bit if you want. You can also pull some pieces near your face. And then you're done with the rope braid. The next braid that I'm going to show you guys is the fishtail braid. And I know that I might have already taught you guys this in my three basic braids video, but I just want to go back over it because it does seem a little confusing at first. So you're going to start by taking all of your hair to the side of your head, whichever side you choose, and split it into two sections. Then you're going to want to take an edge piece from one of the sides, doesn't matter, like this and cross it under and add it to the other side. 
Then do the same on the other side. Take an edge piece, cross it under, and add it to the other side. So now you just cross two pieces under. Some of you may cross it over and that's totally okay. I prefer to cross it under, like I said, because it kind of swoops all the hair back. And then take another edge piece, cross it under. Take an edge piece, cross it under. Take an edge piece, cross it under. Take an edge piece, cross it under. You don't want to be taking it from the middle and crossing it over because that just, it won't work like that. So you got to take it from the edge piece on the outside. So you're just switching off sections back and forth. Once you get to the end of the braid, before I tie it off, I'm going to go back and tug and pull on the sections to make it really pop. Once it's all fluffed how you like it, you can go ahead and take a clear elastic band and tie it off, or just a normal hair tie. Then you can pull some pieces near your face. And then you are done with the fishtail braid. The last braid that I'm going to be showing you guys is the four strand braid. And this definitely is a little bit more challenging. I recently just learned how to do it like a month ago. And I don't know, it just took me a long time to get the steps down. Don't worry if you don't get it the first time, it's okay. I did not get it the first time, <laughs> no. So you're gonna start this braid by taking all of your hair to the side of your head once again. And you're going to split it into four equal sections because it's a four strand braid. Once you have your four equal sections, you're basically just weaving a piece in and out e through each one. So you're going to start with this piece, cross it over, then cross it under, and cross it over. So we just did over, under, over, under. And then take this piece that we just crossed under, and then cross it over, and then cross it under. And then take that piece that we just crossed over, cross it under, take this piece, cross it under, Cro take this piece, cross it over, take this, cross it over. And you're going to keep it tight as possible. Once you start running out of hair, you can go ahead, take your clear elastic, and tie it all off. And then you can go back and pull on these edge pieces right here. Just gently pull on those. Loosen it up up here and pull some sections near your face. And then you are done with the four strand braid. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this tutorial. Please comment below which one was your favorite side braid. And now you have to ask yourself a question. Have you thumbs up a video today? If not, you should definitely thumbs up this video. Just click that thumbs up button, you know you want to. Just click it, just click it. And subscribe to this channel to see more weekly tutorials. And I'll see you guys next week. 
Bye!